Here we're going to tie a yellow humpy. First thing we're going to do is start our thread right behind the eye. And we're going to wrap back just a quarter of the way or so. First thing we're going to do is we're going to tie in our wings, which are going to be deer hair. And we're going to put it in our stacker and stack it so the tips are all even. Once we've even the tips of the hair, we're going to tie the tips in facing forward. And we want the tips to be, oh, just a little bit more than half the length of the shank of the hook. So we're going to do a, two loose wraps at first, and we're going to tighten down gradually. Once we've got them secure, while I'm still pinching all the butt ends, we're going to get in here and trim those out. Just like that. Now we're going to lay a wrap right behind the butts to secure it to the shank. Then I'm going to lift up on all this deer hair here in a second. First I'm going to try to capture all these stragglers. I'll kind of hold it forward and just drop my thread over the hook. Just like so. We're going to pull all this deer hair up. There we go. Try to get all those fibers drawn up. Place some wraps right in front of them. We're going to act we're going to make a wedge here and just keep wrapping back on that deer hair. You see how I've gotten it to stand up? We're just wedging that deer hair against the base of the thread we tied in behind it. Once I've gotten them to stand up, I'm going to split them into equal proportions. And then I'm going to take my thread and make an X in between both clumps. And that temporarily splits them. I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to go around each leg of deer hair here. Doing so very carefully. Once you do one side, you can do the other. This is probably the more difficult part of the fly here. All I'm trying to do is split these up into two equal clumps. You're going to trap a couple fibers. Don't worry about it too much. We'll get in here and trim those out as soon as you get those these split. You're always going to trap a couple. All right, now you have your wings. Trim out those ones that I trapped here. There we go. Now we're going to lay down a thread base. We're going to take our thread to the bend and take it back forward. And we're going to stop just behind the clump of the butt ends of those wings that we just tied in. Now it's time to tie in the tail. I'm going to take another clump of deer hair here. That's about half the size of the clump we tied in for the wings. We're going to drop those into our stacker. Once we've got those stacked, pull them out of your stacker. This is going to be the tail. We want the tail to be about half the length of the shank of the hook. So I roughly measure it out. I'm going to 
do a loose wrap around this deer hair. If you make those tails too long like I just did, you can shorten them up. Start over. Tie these in right to the bend of the hook here. We can draw up the butt ends. Trim those out. Wrap them flush to the body here. Make sure everything's nice and tight and smooth. There we go. So now we're ready for the hump portion of the fly. For that, we're going to tie in another clump of deer hair that is about the size of the tail clump that we tied in. And we're going to tie those in with the butts. I'm going to tie these in right behind the wing here. Try to get the wing out of the way. You don't want to capture any of the fibers in the wing. And just to barely capture, barely capture those butt ends here without touching that wing, which is, there we go. Barely capture the butts. I'm going to take that and wrap it back to our tail. Right there, just barely touching our tail. Now the next thing to do tie in our floss. For this one we're going to be using yellow but you can use red or green or whatever color you want to tie it in. Take our floss forward. We're not going to go all the way to the wing. We're going to leave a little bit of space. I'm going to take my yellow floss here forward, wrap it back, trying to make it nice and smooth, and we can capture it. Now I can take those fibers of deer hair that we tied in on top, pull them over the floss, capture the deer hair, do a couple of wraps, I can get in here and trim out all the excess deer hair. Try not to clip your wings, just the, the deer hair that we just tied in. Alright, now we've got our hump tied in. And smooth it out here just a little bit. Now we're ready for our hackle. For this, we're just going to use two brown hackles. Measure them out. I want them to just be a little bit longer than the point of the hook. What I mean by that is when I splay them, you can see how they're just a hair longer than the point. They drop down just a little bit. I can tie both of these in. I pre-stripped that stem. 
Gives me something to tie in to. And I can take my thread, I'm going to jump it in front of the wings, drop it in front of the eye. Now I'm going to take these hackles. Careful not to trap your your wing. I'm going to wrap these around the shank of the hook. That first wrap sometimes doesn't really want to cooperate. So a lot of times, what I do is I just back it all off and retie them in. First wrap is fairly important. We'll try here again. Hop in front of the wing. Trim out those excess barbs here from the hackles. Careful not to trap your wings. And once you've done a few wraps behind the wings, you're going to take your hackle, jump it in front. Put each wrap just right in front of the other. Once you've gotten to the eye, you can capture. Trim out the excess tips of the hackle. Sometimes you trap a few fibers. Just get in there and trim those puppies out. Clean up the head just a little here. You can whip finish. Try to do so without trapping any of the hackles. If you do, you can just trim some of those out. That's all there is to a humpy.